In the calculus that we've looked at so far, we've always taken functions to have just one variable, so y equals a function of x, or perhaps two parametric functions giving a curve in space. In reality, we actually need to use functions of several variables. Most things don't depend on just one variable. A good example of this is trying to predict the weather. In this, we need to have things like temperature, pressure, and density of the air, and this depends on spatial positions, both in terms of coordinates over the country, so longitude and latitude, but also height above the ground. These are then functions of those three variables, x, y, and z, if you like, for the spatial dimensions, but they're also functions of time as well, so really they're functions of four variables. We need to study calculus with functions of multidimensional variables. To begin with, let's look at functions of two variables and see how to visualize these. So we generalize the idea of a function of one variable, y equals f of x, to a function of two variables, which we write as z equals f of x and y. So it takes two real numbers and turns it into a single real number. Or in math speak, we say f maps r2 onto the real line r. In general, one could think of a function of as many variables as you like, but we'll concentrate on two for just now. So these could be as simple as just z equals x squared plus y, or sine of x times y. So in the latter example, we would take two numbers, x and y, multiply them together, take the sine of that, and that produces a single number z. If we take something like a sphere with a density rho, then that will have a mass, which is the volume times a density. The volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is a radius, and so the mass is then a function of r and rho. In order to visualize functions, one needs to really ideally do them on a computer, but one can look at things like level surfaces, where one takes a slice through the function. So, for example, if we take a slice through the hyperboloid f of x and y equals x squared plus y squared, those slices through that are circles and the width between the circles depends on the height one slices through the function. Similarly, one could take slices in the vertical directions, the x and y planes, to help visualize a function. For functions of two variables, well, it's just as easy to plot them on a computer and have a look at them. For functions of three variables or more, these the idea of level curves and level surfaces are actually much more important to visualize them. So when you look at, for example, a map of the weather, you'll see isobars plotted out, and the spacing between those isobars tells you about the density gradients in the air. Similarly, if you look at a topographical map, that will show you the height above the ground using contours, helping you visualize the surface. 